first speaker. Now, before I do, I want to, I really want to thank everyone for coming out here. I really do. Okay, each and every one of you. It's two and a half years now we've been on this journey. And when it was decided that perhaps we'll put on another rally today, the feedback was, it's over. People won't show up. What are you protesting for? We've got our freedoms back. There's no need. No one will come. People are too busy. I heard all the excuses. The same excuses I've been hearing for the last two and a half years from organisations like this one behind me. And the reason why, the reason why I keep showing up is because we simply must. We show up for our children and our grandchildren, our family and friends that we've lost. And not just perhaps in passing, but that have distanced themselves from us. And I'll tell you now, this was not possible, the last two and a half years was not possible if it wasn't for two reasons. For the mainstream media doing the dirty work of the government, being the mouthpiece. Now the government conveniently gave them a tax break during COVID. Who else got a tax break during COVID? Not us. And anyone that got a COVID payment, you've now got to pay tax on that. But these bastards, they got a tax break and they reported filth, lies, hysteria. And people like David Koshy even told... He told... He told your family and friends if someone is unvaccinated, don't invite them over for Christmas. In a country like Australia, we pride ourselves on mateship. The scumbags in there tried to divide us. But hey, it doesn't look like we're divided. Now we may not agree on religion, politics, football team, food, whatever. But there's one thing we all agree on. And that is that we, we agree on freedom. And you may not agree with what some people say, but you defend their right to say it. We agree on justice. We want the truth. We don't need their, we don't need their permission to be free. You are free in your hearts and in your minds. But we want justice. We want a royal commission. We want a senate inquiry. We want all these bastards, these godless people, to pay for what they put you, 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 all of you, through. Now, now, they, the second thing that made this possible was the optics. And the way they got around that is that they used the police as their goons, as their henchmen, as their thugs. They ordered police to drag women from parks because they took their children to a playground. They dragged people out of cars because they weren't wearing a mask. They would not let you inside venues because you weren't vaccinated. They got police to arrest pregnant mothers at their homes because of a Facebook post. And who remembers? Renee, the mother up here at Parliament House with a four-year-old son begging, leave my mum alone. Who remembers that brave woman, Renee? Before there was me and you, she stood up there. This was two and a half years ago, before me and you. And that is how this was possible. The media and the police. Now we're not angry, I'll tell you now, we've got a lot of police officers amongst us and you'll see them all up on stage. They're handed in their badge and they said, no way, we will not comply with this, we will not force this. And you know what? I want those police officers to come up on stage right now, actually. Roman, where are you, guy? Let's go, cops for truth. Put your hands together.